Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 5 of this Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2016. Let's play with your North Alabama Lions. My name is JMac Gaming, and my phone just went off. Let me go to silent real quick. Um... Welcome to episode five. Uh, if let's just let's do a summary of last episode where we took on Florida Atlantic, Mississippi State, Longwood, and the University of Missouri Kansas City. Uh, we lost the first three and barely barely squeaked out a victory over um, the Kangaroos. But now, um, now it's a different task. We uh, have a couple more games. And then uh, against, let me look again, Boston, Detroit, Quinnipiac, and Texas, Rio Grande, Valley, Valley. And then, um, so yeah, we have a couple more big games. And then uh, we move on to Ohio Valley Conference play, where we take on Tennessee State, Missouri, Murray State, Southern Illinois, Edwardsville, Cougars, and Belmont. Belmont eight, I think it, uh, Jacksonville State was the 7-2 seven, yeah, seven team, so they're the ones to look out for. Let's uh let's just get into the season. Let's just get into it. Three and five. Uh let's get ahead right there. Sim ahead. Boom, 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 boom. How's everyone doing today on this lovely, what a, what is this, uh, the 28th, the last day of February? That's when I'm recording this. <laughs> it's not a shoot, or it's not a work, this is a shoot, brother. Um, go do simulation in progress. Hopefully this game just did not crash. When is this game? We play the 12th, so we got a new email, I think. And we're just uh, scouting reports, blah, blah, blah. Let's just sim again. Oh, I just simmed. Whoops. Well, that sucks. Well, let's see if we won. All right, so let's. Hey, we won. Let's look back at the schedule. Let's. Um, sorry about that, guys. Let's look at the next score. Uh, Todd Jackson with 22 points, Ryan Porter with 17, and Lester Murdoch, um, at 27 minutes and 16 points, 56 points, boys, in the first quarter. My bad for um simming that game. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's keep, uh, well, I'm, I'm well, now, now I'm, now I'm a little salty that uh, I skipped that game. Didn't mean to do that. Um, oh, well, here we go. We take on the Detroit Titans. And, uh, big game against, uh, a, a, a college, like, right down the road. If you could, if, if if an hour is right down the road, but still, a local team right here. So this is gonna be not, a, not only a big game for me, but a big game for the team. Ah, uh, control users, blah blah blah. Let's go. What was it? Gamecast? Do I run? Yeah, Gamecast is the one I like to run right here. Let's. Uh, halftime report will go. All right, let's let's skip ahead to halftime. Let's see what happens. Uh, we're already. Uh, oh, we got a tie game. Uh, two two. And I'm not expecting a win right here. Uh, Detroit. I think a better conference and a better team than we are. But um, if we if we pull out an, uh, another win, we just beat uh, Boston. If we go two and two, two and zero, oh, the start this episode, I'll I'll. Be happy. That'll be a nice way to start off the day. 
um, after losing three out of four last episode. Um, we're going into ten minutes in the first half. We are up nineteen seventeen. Um, four points right now from Ahmad Tahid. Uh, Joe Watkins is in there a little bit too late, I think. Lester Murdoch with three points already. Uh, 29-23. We're looking t to pull away. They're catching up. Boom, 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 boom. 31 20, 35 24 Murdoch with a three-pointer. Todd Jackson makes it a two-point, a 12-point game. And we've got two minutes left in the first half. North Alabama outscoring the, the uh, Titans of Detroit. We're up by seven with 12, 10, 5. And we're going into the first half, second half. 41 34. Um, let's look at the player's stats. Uh, Lester Murdoch, 12 points right now. Joe Watkins, 0 for 3. In 10 minutes, you're not really doing much on the backup center job. John Burns, the center starter for Detroit with 14 points. Top players, John Burns and Lester Murdoch. Let's return back to the game. Oh, we're going to start at 46 to 36. Todd Jackson. I think the star player. I don't care if Murdoch gets 30 points in a game. I think Todd Jackson is our star player. And we need to look to put him in the uh, in, ac in action more. I think he needs to get the ball a little bit more than he already does. He scores a lot of points. He's a great shooter, great scorer. Um, Joe Watkins needs to play less. He's becoming a hindrance now. But every time I say that, he, we take the lead. It's now 62 40, 65 46. Pulling away from the Titans of Detroit. It's now a 20 point game, 10 minutes left in the second half. Dahid makes it, misses a three point shot, sorry. And Jordan commits a foul. Terrence Anderson makes a layup. Dahid fucking turning the ball over. Turnovers. I didn't even look at that. Tw 10 right now to 10 fouls this half. Um, still a 15 point game. Todd Jackson now with 14. Um, how you with 10? As much as I, oh, Lester Murdoch, though, 23 points. Didn't even notice that. 23 for Murdoch, 8 for 10 from shooting from the field. Two minutes left now. We got one minute left. We are up by 16. Weirder things have happened, but it doesn't matter. Detroit falls to the North Alabama Lions. Let's see what the final score will be. 86, 69. Todd Jackson with 16, Sean Williams with 12, Lester Murdoch, 23. Mike Brack, only three points, but eight assists. So, um, fine by me. Gets the ball all around. Uh, Todd Jackson for six for tough. Murdoch, not getting the start. Ryan Porter got the start, but uh, 23 points. So he might. <laughs> Joe Watkins, fucking drizzling shits. 22 minutes. Uh, if that continues, um, we're going to definitely have to look into. Um, Benching for a little bit longer, um, Mr. Williams. Because uh, <laughs> 22 minutes with uh, only two rebounds, not really doing much on the backup center side. I play Quinnipiac in the next game on uh, uh, December 19th. And then Texas Rio Grande Valley running practice right here. Let's see. And we're targeting all the recruits that we already have. Well, most colleges don't have their both scholarships probably uh, already wrapped up, but we do. Uh, as we got Sierra uh, Harvey and Letterville. Oh, player reminders. The team likes Ryan Porter. That's remember that. Uh, I put him. I put him in. I started him. People like. People like him. Uh, we're looking at. Let's look at the standings. We don't have a uh, conference one, but we can look at. Who's doing good around the league right now? And uh, Jacksonville State, 8-2, with a 12 RPI. Um, Moorhead State, 7-2. Uh, we're 5-5, we're five five. that's all right. Uh, we have a 
terrible RPI compared to everyone else in our conference. So that's not that's not uh, good. Uh, Tennessee State at six and three. Well, being they're also good. So the East. I'm lucky we don't play in the East because it looks like with Morehead State, Jacksonville State, and Tennessee State, they're pretty damn good teams over there. Right now. Um, well, we got uh got the uh, the the, wor- the the lesser teams on our side. We take on Quinnipiac. Let's. Can we do some scouting on their behalf right here? Uh, let's just go to the scouting report right now. Tim Raby. Um, hey, we can go like this. Um, can't really look at the. Uh, I don't want to look at the. I don't want to look at now. Get get out of here. I don't want to look at their ratings. That's cheating. Quinnipiac. V report. Um, I want. I'd love to look at their fucking schedule. See who they've beaten, who they've not beaten. Can I just? Oh. Oh. Wow. Well, fucking. I don't. I don't know what the our conference they play in. Quinnipiac. Um. They play in the Mountain West. I was wrong. I was wrong, boys. Don't listen to me. Uh, does it say right here? Let's. Metro Atlantic. Okay. Metro Atlantic. Athletic. Oh, the MAA. My favorite. Uh, Quinnipiac. Uh, they have beaten McNeese State, who are 0 9, so, okay. They only beat them by 4. Got slapped around by LSU. Slapped around by the UMBC. Don't know who that is. Slipped. Uh, barely coughed up the victory over. Here are the two teams that scare me right here. The two wins. Uh, Texas A&M. And Vanderbilt. Why did they beat them? Yeah, this is going to be a rough game. So they lost to LSU, which... Eh. Lost to the Retrievers and lost to Stony Brook. I don't... I, I don't know about our chances here. This is going to be a close game. Um, Really don't know who's going to win this game. Let's get into the game. It's uh, Quinnipiac at, away. Actually, we're at we're at Flowers Hall here in North Alabama. Uh, Chambliss, Fleming, Raby, Williams, Self. We're going with the same lineup of Bryant, Porter, Jackson, Morse, Williams. Uh, Murdoch has another lit game on the bench. He will be starting from here on out because I mean P- Porter's holding his own, but it, if Murdoch plays like that, like I can't, you can't not start him. All right, let's get into the game. <sighs> let's see if we can pull out a victory over the Quinnipiac uh, Cougars. I'm going to call them the Cougars. Tim Raby makes a slam. Dunk Ryan Porter makes a three-point shot. Winston makes a layup. Marquise Todd Jackson with a three-point shot. And then it misses it. And then layup by Ryan Porter. So we're up 19... I mean, 13-9. I'm, uh... Not really, you know, if Joe Watkins needs to step up right now, this is his game to step up. Murdoch makes, misses a three throw. Uh, Watkins defensive rebound. Murdoch hitting a couple rebounds. Our free throws. Um, Murdoch misses a three point shot, then turns the ball over. Bryant gets a foul. Offensive rebound. Defensive foul. It's now 22 24 19. Todd Jackson after making a slam dunk with five minutes left. Fleming hits a three point shot. Williams hits a couple. Wow, Williams with four points all of a sudden out of nowhere. Good for you, Sean Williams. Ryan Porter now leading the team with seven points. It's now 30 22 with three minutes left in the first half. Uh, Dave Jensen, welcome. Welcome getting welcome to the points. Joe Watkins. There you go, buddy. Two points now with two rebounds in the first half. Uh thirty one thirty six going into it after Michael Ferguson with seventeen seconds left makes a three pointer. Um uh, player of the game right now, Harold Fleming and Ryan Porter. Um anything turnovers on their side. We are not hitting our shots. Our free throws are good, three points are fine. Um Fouls. Um, yeah, we're, we're actually getting better, it looks like. Um, Murdoch with three. Not stepping up today. Two fouls. 
John Morris, no points and three fouls in the first half. Not looking too good. Uh, Jeremy Lowen, still looking. Tahid, not having a decent game. But I, Ryan Porter stepping it up from uh, last game. Let's start the second half off. There we go. We got 39-33 UNA up now. We're up by seven points. And it went down to four real quick. As Sean Williams makes it a six point. And back to nine. So I don't know what's going on. It's We're a, we're a good team, I think. Um, we are now up 54-38. Lester Murdoch turning it up in the second half. Sean Williams as well. We are pulling away from the Quinnipiac Cougars. My apologies if you go to Quinnipiac and you're not the Cougars. You guys look like Cougars, and I will call you the Cougars. Fight me. <laughs> Don't at me, brother. <laughs> uh, 66-44. Uh, so we're up. Oh, this is a runaway game right now. This is looking out of hand. North Alabama just destroying Quinnipiac. I say that as they're about to drop 20 points in two minutes. And we are going to win 74 59 North Alabama over Quinnipiac. Good game. Let's see. Let's see who for the player of the games. Uh, the Bobcats. Sorry, Bobcats. Close enough, right? Uh, they a lot of fouls on their half. We outshot them in the second half. It looked like. And uh, Todd Jackson, 13 and five with three blocks. Good for you, Todd Jackson. Uh, Murdoch stepped up. Porter stepped up. And Joe Watkins getting two points. So I will take that. My Tahid was the. Uh, uh, well, it was the disappointment of the game. All right, so we have one more game this uh, this um, episode. We are three and zero, so that's good. Let's simulate. I think we play the twenty second, so we got one more day. Uh, uh, Jacksonville State. Let's see. Well, they're still eight and two. They've taken on the three and five Eastern Washington. I think that's the state. I don't remember. I can't remember off the top of my head. All right. So here we go. Everyone. It looks like a lot of teams are playing this week. Uh Jacksonville. Let's look at the box score. Let's look at what's going on over here in Jacksonville State. I mean. I don't see anything. Oh, I was looking at. Oh man, their bench is just outstanding. Jeff Rollison, Mike Smith, and James Jack. Their bench. Bobby Webster was the player of the game. Only played 22 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the team we have to compete with this year. Um, we take on the eight and three Rio Grande Valley. What are they called? The Western Athletic. Let's uh. Go. Let's look at their schedule. Let's see who they've beaten. Oh, who they lost to? Youngtown State Penguins, and they got slapped. Bucknell by one. Didn't we play Bucknell? Did we not play Bucknell? Uh, and they just lost a couple of nights ago to Appalachian State. Um, or five of five. So, I mean, they beat Idaho State. They haven't really beat anyone though. Like they beat. West Virginia, actually. Uh, they're not a good team. Eastern, eh. UL or Lafayette, eh. Albany Christian. Yeah, they're beating nobodies, it looks like. So, maybe we have a chance? I doubt it. This is looking like a decent squad. Other than losing to Appalachian State and losing to Youngtown State. Um, I don't know why I just click recruits. I already know my recruits, boys. Uh, schedules. Um, no, we did not play Bucknell. We played Campbell. Same thing, the Camels. Um, who'd we lose to? Like, Longwood, we shouldn't have lost to. That's a game I'm going to be disappointed to with all year. Um, 
you know, I'm liking this, um, we don't have a fucking smart team, I'm just realizing, none of our players have a three-point GPA, which is, I'm gonna have to send, I gotta get Joe Murdoch, let's call this man, um, academic study more, one month. No, I need you to get your GPA up. I don't want, I don't want Lester Murdoch to get under uh, academic suspension this early in the season. Let's get into it. Um, uh, let's get into bim -ba -dum. play game cast. Mike Bryant, Ryan Porter. That's gonna be the starting lineup. Uh, the Vac Heroes, Vac Heroes. Okay, I'm gonna call you the the V Stars. <laughs> Their logo. Uh, I like the logo and the. Uh, oh, I like the court. I like the Sam Williams court here. Uh, this is gonna be a hard and difficult away game to win for us. But if we can, if we can pull this game out and end this episode four zero, that'd be a huge success for this team. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're down. That's, uh, Tom, Mike Bryant makes it a three-point. I mean, this isn't looking good. If and the last couple games were any indication that when a team gets down early, they're not going to come back. I'm hoping. Be, well, I mean, if you, you look back on it, <laughs> other teams have come back on us. And as, as I looked down for one second, we were down by 12. Um. Lester Murdoch showing why he isn't starting right now. Jeremy Nolan playing really early. Uh, down 17. So, I guess we're not going 4 0 this episode, boys, but uh, it's a learning experience. We're going into conference play. Um, we're in the conference play next episode. So that'll be exciting. This is it's this is these are just warming up games in my mind. These are these are these are games that we can just look at and say, hey, this is what our team looks like against other teams. So <laughs> that's a fucking terrible, terrible explanation. But hey, whatever. We 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 look good at sometimes, and then it's like this where we look bad. Mike Bryant with nine points. Um. Ryan Porter looking terrible, but he hasn't taken a shot, so that's not really his bad. Sean Williams, uh, three fouls in three minutes. That's probably why we are losing, because that's why fucking Jeremy Nolan's playing. Three three fouls in three minutes, Sean Williams. You should know better. Don't do that. Let's return to the game. Uh, Tahid missing the final shot of the quarter, so that's not good for us. And we're already down by 20. I don't... Unless the, the Rio Grande Valley Vacros just fucking... <laughs> completely fall apart right here. Um, we're going 3-1. And, and that'll put us at 6-6. Six and six. So that's... It. In all honesty, that's fucking four more wins than I thought we would have in non-conference play. To be completely honest with you, I did not expect this season to be good at all. Um, I didn't expect six wins. I didn't expect Todd Jackson. Look, like, it's our bench and Antoine Shine making us look like fools. I just realized he's got 29 points. This team might score 100 on us. And Antoine Shine might put up 30. I think it will be the first time I ever see that. As he's. As I say that he's uh for a substituted out, it's still I mean it's twenty points. It's we've we've lost worse in my mind. I think this year we've lost worse. Um, well they Antoine's back in. Um, maybe he hits thirty. Maybe they hit a hundred. Um, uh, let's look. Can we? Can they? Will they do either? Will they hit a? No, they won't. We will lose by fifteen. Fifteen's fine. I'm fine. That's a acceptable loss right there. Lester Murdoch with 20. As I, as I always ridicule someone in the, earlier in the game, I step up and Lester Murdoch showed why he stepped up. And I think I think that's good enough to put him back in the starting lineup. He's excellent. 
Yep, I think so. Uh, 20 points in 25 minutes. I think that's good enough for him to... Uh oh, injured player. Um, injuries. Joel Forrest. The small forward who is barely playing right now. He's played one game. Did he just get hurt? That was it. Oh my. Joel Forrest. Comes in. Gets a turnover. And pulls his fucking hamstring. Strains his hamstring. Why don't you... He's a sophomore, right? He's got good potential. I expect... Can I... I'm sorry. Uh, attitude. Oh. Can't just say hello. You're welcome, coach. Okay, well. Um. Let's look at the stats, because I don't like to look at these uh, minutes. Uh, Murdoch in 26. What's his point? 13.4. So Mike Bryant, Lester Murdoch, and Todd Jackson are getting the most points out of our team. Jeremy Nolan, um, Everhart and Earl, right where those the two freshmen. So yeah. Um, I gotta look at the um. They got good potential. I like that. Uh, Everhart, I'm gonna. You're at 2.1 GPA. I would like to study more for a month. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Everhart. Um. Sub matrix depth. Um, I don't want it. To, Dave, how Dave Jensen's good, right? Why is he not playing more? Hmm. Hmm. I don't... He... I'm, I'm honestly confused on why I haven't seen Dave Jensen, the sophomore from Newton Grove, playing more. He's one of the better ones, right? He's... <sighs> Man. I have so many... Hmm. <sighs> hmm. I'm going to put Dave Jensen in. And Ryan Porter will go to... Yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do it. So Matrix. Uh, restore, I guess. May I, may I suggest? Hey! Hey, there we go. Um, Murdoch, Jackson, Jackson, and Bryant playing the most right there, and Murdoch only playing a little bit. Second half. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Uh, Porter and Murdoch will come in later. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give Dave Jensen. A try. Um. Hey. Eh. I think that's good. I think that's where we're gonna end the episode right here. Uh, we're gonna put Dave Jensen in the starting lineup and see what that does to our squad. We will start. Yeah, we are starting. Our conference play. We got, uh, it's like four episodes of conference games. So, hey, that'll be fun. And then we'll maybe, maybe, maybe we'll win the Ohio Valley, uh, I think that's what it's called, the Ohio Valley Conference Tournament. We'll see. Uh, Jacksonville State might fucking whoop us. We play on an easier one, so we have a better chance, I think. But Jacksonville State. Ugh. They 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 have to be in the polls, right? No, they're not. They are not in the polls. Okay, that's that's odd. Um, 
if you wanted to know the Norton watch of the player in the college basketball, here the the uh, these guys we have to look forward to in the play on the um on and then the uh in the tournament injury report. Um, bubble watch, bubble watch is not here in the commitments because we can do we can do that. Um. Oh, it's a conference preview. Hell yeah. Uh, let's look at ours. Hot Jackson. Conference ranked. Blah 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 blah. blah. All right, well, Jacksonville, where are you at? What what is what is Jacksonville State's fucking this one, right? Red Hawks. No, that's not them. This is the fucking Gamecocks. Well, that's their team. Junior, junior, sophomore, seniors. Huh, that's something to look forward to. All right, let me save it, and we will stop it right here. That's been episode five of this uh, Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2016. Again, apologies for the first sim game, but hey, those last two, the the two wins we had were great, and then the then the spanking we got by uh, Rio Grande was uh, unfortunate. But hey, we learned some stuff. We're gonna try some new stuff out with Dave Jensen starting a game, and uh, we will see you back for I will see you back for episode six where we start conference play against Tennessee State. Thank you guys for supporting this uh, channel. Please leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and uh, thank you guys. Bye.